It comes in the night time. Oh my god. It comes for you. It comes for me. It comes for all of us. Is this because we've been watching True Detective Night Country, Shane? Is that what you're referencing here? Did, did you just die? He does this all the time and he'll actually hold his breath and it stresses me out, but all I need to do is stick one finger. <laughs> Shane, come on. He's doing a good job this time. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> that was dramatic and unexpected. I really, I have no words for that. Um, this video is about Shane being under the weather recently. An insidious, <laughs> Ill, uh, insidious true. virus that, uh, wait. creeping its way through my systems. I don't think it was a virus. I think your body just had like a couple of weird things happen because it does. It was just so odd. I had a couple of days of weird. But it was scary. Oh, like life or death. Oh my god. One of them I stand by that, the other one maybe not so much. Life or death? Well, I gen this was the first time in years that I- and you weren't even sick. Like, it's just a very odd thing what happened, but I got worried that you would have to like, go to the hospital. I did too. I was like, uh, am I going to be able to take another breath? Okay, let's just tell you what happened. Okay. So, all of us, when we are sleeping... Oh, we're going meta <laughs> now. We're going to zoom way out. When, I was, when, a, when a human sleeps. I was born. Oh. <laughs> no, when we sleep, we produce saliva. Just like we do during the day. And overnight, you swallow it or you drool it out. Like, if you're me, you drool a lot. Uh, yeah, Shane uses a different pillowcase every night because he drools all over it. It's that bad. Just one of those fun little hurts about me. <laughs> yep. Uh, sometimes, like, here and there, not often, if I'm not laying in, like, the perfect position overnight, one that Hannah has perfected, uh, the spit, the saliva doesn't quite drool out or get swallowed in the right way. It like goes into my lungs mm -hmm. a little bit. I aspirate it while I sleep. Which and then, is bad. Which is bad. Yeah. But it's not really a huge deal. Normally, like I'll wake up and feel a little congested and I'll have some coffee and cough and, and it comes be out. fine. Yeah. Earlier this week, that's not what happened. Well, I just want to <laughs> say, we realized what we did wrong. Like, yeah. you, like you said, if you sleep in a slightly different position, it can mess it up. And what we did this night was Shane has a small issue where he always thinks that he is falling off the bed. He says that. He'll wake me up in the middle of the night and be like, I'm falling off the bed. I and I'll be like, like you... You feel like you're tipping forward, but yeah. I'm like, you are literally in the middle of the bed. Like, you are not anywhere near. And he'll be like, no, my head, my pillow is falling off the bed. And I'm like, no, it isn't. So this night, as he was getting ready, it started, like, immediately. He was like, no, my pillow is definitely tipping off the edge. So I was like, you know what? We'll put a sock under the front of it uh -huh. to raise it up, just like, you know, it was a fuzzy sock, like a half inch. And when I did that, he was like, that's perfect. Now my pillow is level. Yeah. Shouldn't have done that. I didn't think about how that would impact my saliva management. It shouldn't have. Like, overnight. it was so it's not, minimal, yeah, it but wasn't a big deal. whatever. But it did. It was wrong. I woke up the next day and felt that familiar to halt in my lung. I was annoyed, but I was like, all right, whatever. I'll have some coffee and get it out. I began to cough as I had my coffee and felt a lot more phlegm in my lung than normal. Like, to the point where I was like, oh, Hannah, this is going to be a rough one. Yeah. I'm going to be coughing for a while. Yeah, you sounded sick. Like, it was a, it was coughing, and every time you'd breathe in, it would just be, like, phlegm. More and more. A lot, yeah. yeah. And the more I coughed, the worse it got. And it's a very weird, like, precarious way that I have to cough to manage getting it out of my lung. Because if I breathe in, like, real hard to, like, get a big cough out, I suck the phlegm further into my lung, and then I can't get it. But if I do a little breath to like get a little air to cough, the phlegm just blocks my airway and I choke. So it's like going somewhere in the middle, finding that sweet spot to get air and then cough. It's very annoying and it takes forever because I don't have a lot of muscle in my chest. So Shane was coughing and maybe like 10 minutes went by and it was getting worse. Like it was just so much phlegm. And I was like sitting out on the couch and I was like, uh, how you, you doing? <laughs> and so I went in there and Shane was like, I think I need to lay down. 
uh, and like put my hips up on a pillow, yeah. um, which is what we do. We like discovered it late, like five years into our relationship. I was like, have you tried gravity? <laughs> and we like put Shane's hips up on a pillow sometime when he was sick and he like coughed it out immediately. And Shane was like, I went my entire life. <laughs> Like laboriously or laboriously, laboriously, laboriously. laboring uh, to cough stuff out. Yeah. When I could have just put my hips up on a pillow, so we went into the bedroom and and did that. Which is a drastic measure, like that. We've only had to do that a handful of times. Yeah. In our relationship. Yeah. So having to do that meant like this was bad. Yeah. So we begin doing that. Snot is like pouring out of my face. Hannah's had a really fun morning. Yeah, uh, that's not. But I will say, I'm not worried at this point. No? At the beginning of the video, you know, I said I got worried you'd have to go to the hospital. This is not what worried when me. When did you become worried? The next day. Uh -huh. This day, I'm like, you drooled into your lung and you'll be fine. So, so I'm not worried. Hannah gets to go to bed and like, does my chest protection. Would you like to demonstrate? Yeah. Real fun. It's just to like, loosen it up. I cough for another probably half hour. Half hour. Filling the, the house with sounds of like, gurgling wet coughs. Everyone was very happy. Just so you know, Shane, it was literally like five minutes. It felt so long. It was five minutes on the bed. It was not a half hour. When, I stood there. I wouldn't have stood for half an hour. When every breath is a struggle, yeah. one minute feels like an eternity. But then, you coughed then it I out. Got it out. <laughs> it then you coughed out. it out. It came out. Yeah. And I was exhausted for the rest of the day. Yes. But, like, I, I was okay. Yeah. So it was a, a fun start of the morning. Yeah. Thought it was over. Like, thought it was a fluke and was going to move on with my life. And then the next night happened. <laughs> yeah. So Shane's exhausted all day. We go to bed early. And uh, in the middle of the night, Shane wakes me up that he is going to throw up. <laughs> like, real abrupt. I was like, hey, don't make up. I have to throw up. <laughs> it was an, I, I had to, like, jump out of bed and run to get a trash can. <laughs> Uh, and he threw up, and then an hour later, after we had gone back to bed, he threw up again. So same thing, but both times you like waited for a trash can, which was good. So then I woke up that day feeling just like out of it, you yes. know? Like you had phlegm again. I had phlegm. That was when I was worried because I was like, I, I'm afraid you have like pneumonia. And like, I don't yeah. even know if you would throw up from pneumonia, but I was like, this feels like something is very wrong to, for that weird. to happen. So, and you had like a mild fever, uh, yeah, it was or at least hot. you felt like you did. We didn't have a thermometer, but you felt like you had a fever. It was the most bizarre thing ever, and I was getting worried throughout the day. But we just like chilled yeah. and did nothing, rested, coughed a lot more, drank water, had tea. <laughs> All the things that you do when you're not feeling great. Yeah. And throughout the day, I began to feel like more and more like myself. Yeah. That night, I had a normal night's sleep, woke up feeling completely fine. So... I would like to know, what the hell happened to me? I think, I'm not sick, No. so what was that, and I, why did it happen? I think it was two separate things that were just weird together. Yeah. I think that I, you you put the sock and you got phlegm, and like that was weird and annoying. And then I think that you probably had like a, a tummy, something weird. You kept eating that pasta again and again, the leftover pasta. <laughs> you probably just ate something weird and threw up, and then we were like, oh my god. Are There's probably a little bit of food poisoning. Are you saying there's not an insidious... No, virus I don't way. think you had a t like literal 12 hour virus. The back of my brain stem feels... <laughs> oh, you feel it? It's located in the brain stem? It feels a little bit damp. Huh. No, Are you anyway. turning into a What is that, zombie? I don't know, yeah. I'm, the night country? I'm insidious. Oh, you're insidious, okay. Uh, so it's been a fun week. <laughs> but Shane's better, everyone. I would He's like better. to thank Hannah for babying me throughout and for keeping me alive while I was in the midst of mm -hmm. my coughing fits. Yeah. <laughs> my temperature at one point was 0. 0.1 degree higher. It was 98.7 when we I went and got a thermometer and we took his temperature. 98.7. Like, he was like, fever. I was like, I still have a fever. Not a fever. No. So Shane is officially better. Yeah, I'm dead. It was a weird two days. It was weird. It's scary for a minute. Back on the men now. Yeah, now you're good a to go. Scary mystery illness. <sighs> my parents are in town. <laughs> In, are we doing, in other updates. We're doing life updates now, yeah. So maybe our next video will be a vlog of like some activities that we do with them. They're they're here now. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to San Diego and see them. Yeah. Or not not see them with them with to them. see it. Yes. To see San Diego. Assuming I make it that long. Oh my god. Alright everyone, have a great day. <laughs>